Hey there, welcome back to Damn Tasty Vegan. It's your friend Maria Rose. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make super creamy, whipped, fluffy, delicious vegan mashed potatoes and a savory and simple vegan gravy. I'm gonna show you which plant milk to use that will not leave a nasty aftertaste in your mashed potatoes and will make them fluffy, creamy, and delicious. So if you're ready to learn how to make this classic dish vegan, let's hang out for a bit and I will show you how. All right, so first we have to peel the potatoes and I love using just golden potatoes, my absolute favorite potatoes for mashed potatoes. So I'm just gonna clean them off and peel them. And then I just roughly quarter them up. You wanna make sure they're about the same size. This just helps it so that they cook a little bit quicker. We're gonna make the potatoes on the Instant Pot today just to keep it easy. It's all gonna be in one bowl. We're gonna put all the liquids in there so we don't have to any add anything later. Directions for making this on the stove will be in my blog post below. Uh, so we're gonna add about a half of a cup of water and then we're gonna add our vegan milk. The two vegan milks that I love using in mashed potatoes that don't leave a weird aftertaste are unsweetened and plain oat milk or unsweetened and plain coconut milk. Not the coconut milk in the can that you would put in your Thai curry, but like the so delicious coconut milk. And then I like to add about a half teaspoon, teaspoon or so of salt to the pressure cooker so that it infuses in the potatoes as it cooks. Then we add our unsweetened and plain oat milk. Yes, I add this all before because warmed milk in the mashed potatoes helps the mashed potatoes to stay nice and fluffy. So I like to just add it beforehand so it warms up with the mashed potatoes. Then we cook it for about 10 minutes on high pressure and then let it slow release for three minutes. After the three minutes, then you let it quick release. All right, now it's time to add your butter. Add as much as you'd like and just mash that up. If you want to make this a little bit more creamy, you can always add some vegan sour cream. Kite Hill is delicious. Highly recommend it, but you know, it's optional. And as always, taste your food and season it to however you'd like. All right, now it's time for our gravy. So you can either use water and like a veggie bouillon cube or uh, like a veggie bouillon paste. My favorite is either the better than bouillon, no chicken, like bouillon paste, or like the Edward and Sons, like unchicken bouillon cubes. Those are really, really good. Uh, if you don't want to use water and a bouillon cube or bouillon paste, you can always use a vegetable broth. Your broth or bouillon that you choose is going to make or break your gravy, so make sure you choose a good one. Then we add some flour to thicken it and a little bit of soy sauce to add some umami and depth of flavor. We add some nutritional yeast for the same thing. It's optional if you don't have nutritional yeast, don't worry about it, you don't have to add it. And we also add some garlic powder and some poultry seasoning to give it that Thanksgiving flavor. If you'd like to make this a little bit more rich, like traditional fatty, savory gravy, then you can add some vegan butter, however much you'd like. Maybe start with like a tablespoon, go from there. If you want it to be richer, just add some more. Then you wanna turn the heat on to medium and stir, stir, stir until all of the flour lumps and everything dissolves. Keep stirring on low heat until it starts to thicken to about this consistency. This should take uh, maybe five minutes or so. You just wanna make sure it like bubbles and cooks for a little bit to cook that flour so that it doesn't leave like a bitter taste in the gravy. And this is the finished product, my friends. Amazing, fluffy, decadent, um, freaking delicious mashed potatoes. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this easy, easy vegan recipe. This gravy is super easy and delicious. The mashed potatoes will blow your mind. It just goes to show that you can make anything vegan. So I hope you'll have a wonderful holiday. Please let me know if you have any questions below. Let me know what video you'd like to see next. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.